mask wearing thing, the whole vaccination thing has really divided the community in a way that I think hurts our community. Tonight, parents and local school districts facing the highly debated decision once again, masks in the classroom. Good evening, I'm Kevin Holmes. And I'm Dia Wall. Thank you for watching 41 Action News on air and your favorite streaming device. As COVID-19 cases spike across the Kansas City Metro, today health leaders issue new guidance for schools and even a health advisory for the public. We are taking a closer look at what this means for families. With school starting in less than a month for many of the school districts, we want to start with showing you why health leaders are concerned. Local counties, they've seen new COVID cases spike in just the last two weeks, some of them hitting peaks we haven't seen since the start of 2021. These are numbers from the Mid-America Regional Council. You see Jackson County, not including Kansas City, saw 113 cases on Monday, the highest since February. On the Kansas side, Wyandotte County saw 71 new cases in one day, a number not seen since January. And Johnson County hit 83 new cases in one day for the first time since February. It's those numbers prompting the Johnson County Department of Health and Environment to release new guidance for schools, like requiring people to wear masks if they're not fully vaccinated. We know this has been the center of debate throughout the last school year, so we sent reporter Leslie Dellis to Johnson County to see what parents think about today's recommendation. What I would say is that we're going to go ahead and be cautious rather than be sorry. That's the takeaway for Megan Peters after hearing the just released back to school safety guidelines from the Johnson County Health Department. I don't think that they're making these decisions to be in opposition to the CDC. I think they're just looking at how this is affecting our area and encouraging people to behave in a way that can stop this before it gets really out of hand. The Johnson County Health Department wants school districts to promote vaccinations, require indoor mask wearing for those who aren't vaccinated and exclude persons with suspected confirmed and close contact of confirmed COVID-19 cases. Peters with one child who is fully vaccinated and one who is uneligible at the time says she's going to do whatever it takes to protect her kids. We're probably going to have them wear them. Um, I even talked to my daughter about this who is vaccinated and said, would you choose to wear one? And she was like, actually, yeah, I think I would be more comfortable. But this evening we spoke with more parents here at Rowe Park who agree with Megan Peters and hopes that their child's school district abide by the Johnson County Health Department's recommendations in order to keep their kids safe before heading back to the classroom. Room. At least with our school district, they do a pretty good job. Um, with her school, they put all new air circulation system in. And my kids wear a mask anyway when they're inside. They don't have a problem wearing the mask. I mean, it's worrisome for sure. I, I feel more comfortable with my teenager who is fully vaccinated. I mean, of course, there's still the risk that he could get it, but most definitely for my elementary school kid who's just too young. Now parents will wait for word from school leaders on what will be done to protect students, especially those too young to be vaccinated. In Johnson County, Leslie Delaspor, 41 Action News. School districts are not required to follow the health department's guidance. The Olathe School District, for example, sticking to its current protocols, which went into effect earlier this month. Masks are highly encouraged, but not required for students, staff, or visitors. District leaders say they're monitoring case numbers, and they will announce any changes if they happen. 